Hello, uh, I'm, I'm all excited today. I've got a review video today. Now, I don't usually, I don't usually do review videos, um, but a friend of mine called Pokemon Fetishist said on Twitter said um, you need to get a pair of those hipster glasses. I said I've, I've already got a pair of the feminist ones. These are glasses I've got. I made a video about it. I'll leave a link in the description. You put these glasses on and it lets you see what the world looks like through a feminist size. They're, they're amazing, right? And he said, no, there's a new pair out there, anti-Trump hipster glasses. And it lets you see what the world looks like through an anti-Trumper's eyes. And I said, I don't, I don't have the money for these glasses. I can't afford to buy glasses right now. And he said, no, no, not to worry. Not to worry. Most anti-Trumpers are anti-capitalist. So you, you don't need money for them. You can you get them for free or uh, nearly free. So I looked them up on Amazon and sure enough, it was just, all I had to do was exchange them for a potato, <laughs> which I stole from my neighbour. So it's, it's all good. So I got them for free. Um, pretty much free. So here they are here, right? And now what happens with these is when I put these on, it lets me see what the world looks like to an anti-Trumper. <laughs> It's fascinating, right? Because I always wanted to know, school bell. I always wanted to know how do they, how do they see things different from the way I can see them and other people can see them, you know? Uh, so I, I'll try them out. What I'll do is I'll get a few random pictures and I'll just have a look. We'll see what it looks like, you know. I'm just I'm, I'm quite excited to try these out. So let's have a look at the first picture, right? So here we go. Here, uh, what's this? Oh, that's um, that's Trump's inauguration. Um, it was all the crowd there during his inauguration. As you can see, there's lots of people there, and personally, to me, in my opinion, even if there's only one person there, it doesn't matter. He's still the president. Whether there's one, whether there's ten billion, it doesn't matter. He's still the president. The numbers don't matter, really. Uh, I remember the media made a big deal about this. They said to Sean Spicer, hey, what's with the numbers at the inauguration? And Sean Spicer answered the question, and then they tried to say, look at Sean Spicer making a big deal about the numbers when it was them that asked the question. But but anyway, so uh, let's let's have a quick look to see, just to see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like to the, a normal person, you know. But if you're an anti-Trumper, here we go. This is what... Oh, that is... That is quite, quite a difference, I would say. Eh... Uh, now it's completely empty, bare. There's nobody there, and yet when you take them off, and you can see that there's thousands of people there. Just odd, isn't that odd how that works? It's quite amazing, really. Um, I'm going to, these are quite good. Well worth a potato, I'd say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what let's see any other pictures. See what, just to see what it does, you know. Oh, here's one of Donald Trump's tweets. Um, Rosie is crude, rude, obnoxious, and dumb. Other than that, I like her very much. This is this is from 2014. This is typical Donald Trump, way before he was president. Uh, he's always been like this. And him and Rosie O'Donnell have had an ongoing feud. Uh, I personally believe they kind of like each other, but you know they just have a go at each other um, publicly because they don't block each other on Twitter. You know. Um, so that, that's him pretty much, as usual, he's having another dig at Rosie O'Donnell. Saying she's crude, rude, obnoxious, that's fine. And Rosie O'Donnell does the same thing back. It's it's all good, it's all fun, it's all in good fun. Uh, nobody's been hurt here, so it's, it's all good. But but that's that's me looking at it, you know. But if I was an anti-Trumper, <laughs> here we go, let's, let's have a look. Whew. Whoa. All women are crude, rude, obnoxious, and dumb. Other than that, I like them very much. That's a lot different from the one that said Rosie was. That's bizarre, isn't it? These are these are amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I highly recommend getting a pair of these. These are brilliant, because it lets you understand them. Because if you don't, if you don't look at them through like this and see that it says that, and then you take them off, you see that it's different. If you don't look at it through their eyes, you know you can be forgiven for thinking they were a bunch of retards. I mean, you would, you, you can be forgiven for thinking that, but this makes you understand that you know it's because of how they see the world. Ugh.
So it's really not their fault. It's just the way they are, you know. It's the hipster glasses they wear. Oh, let's see, let's see. Let's have a, a look at another photo, shall we? What's this? Oh, this is a photo of um, Seth Rich and Julian Assange. Um, Julian Assange, he's the the guy who runs Wiki, WikiLeaks. I was going to say Wikipedia there. He runs WikiLeaks. And Seth Rich, he's apparently, and I say apparently because there's not enough evidence yet, but he's apparently the DNC leak. He's the guy who was given WikiLeaks the information about the DNC. Um, and he was um, <coughs> robbed uh, by being shot in the back and none of his valuables taken. Apparently that's called a robbery now. <laughs> not a murder. No, 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 not a murder. No, just just a, just a robbery. Robbery that went wrong, apparently. D very wrong because they didn't steal anything. But <laughs> whatever. Uh, but I, I can't see how... I can't see how the, an anti-Trumper would see this. And up, what, what do they see when they look at this? Well, let's check it out, shall we? Here we go. Whoa. That's... Again, that's really bizarre, isn't it? It goes from... Seth and Julian to to Russia. Hmm, that's, that's strange. I don't know how that works, but that's it makes you understand, doesn't it? Doesn't it make you understand a wee bit more when you've got the glasses? Ah, oh, man, amazing. Let's let's try another photo, shall we? Let's see, see if we can go through some more. And um, what else have we got? Oh, this is a this is a photo of President Trump signing an executive order to temp put a temporary ban on seven countries. It only shows six there, but there was another one. I can't remember what the other one is. Um, but he put a temporary ban on seven nations that were known to create extremists and terrorists. Uh, it was only a temporary ban on seven nations uh, for three months. Uh, is it not not dissimilar to the one Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, done in two thousand and eleven, when he banned put a temporary ban on everyone from Iraq from entering America, uh, and that was for six months. You know, uh, there wasn't really an uproar about that, and you know, not many people mentioned it. It was just like ah, you know. Uh, but then, obviously, because you weren't allowed to criticise Obama, otherwise you'd have been a racist. So nobody actually said anything about that. Um, but I remember there was a lot of talk about this in the media. Uh, but, you know, it's it's uh, it's just a, con a country's right to strengthen their uh, vetting process, to let people in, and especially when they know these countries are known for creating uh, extremists and stuff. You know, they're, they're just being, being cautionary, and that's... that's should be allowed to do that. Every country should be allowed to do that without criticism, you know. Um, but let's let's see what this looks like. If I, I can't see how this could be any different, but let's see how an anti-Trumper views this. Here we go. Oh, right. Oh. See now, 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 some of the headlines are starting to make sense now. You know, they're starting to make some sense now. Before I was thinking. What are they talking about? But when you see it through their eyes, it's... It, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Let's let's see what else there is. Um, oh, this is the... Um, this is the photo op for the media, you know, is uh, you have Donald Trump there, President Donald Trump, uh, and you have all those men and women uh, who... They're basically saying, tell, this is them telling the nation we've signed a new American health bill... Um, which must be, whether you're Republican or Democrat, it must be murder trying to get that right, the Health Care Act. Oh, it must be murder. Um, I don't envy anyone doing that. But this is them, you know, saying, oh, we've signed it now, this is it, this is it done. So, uh, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with this. This is typical press photo, you know. What's, what's wrong with it, though? I don't see anything wrong with it. But again, I'm only looking at it through my own eyes. I need, I need to... I need to see it through an anti-Trumper's eye. So let's see how they see this normal photograph here. Uh, perfectly normal photograph that, that that would happen in any country for the media. Uh, but how do they view it? So here we go, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. I see, I see. 
Right, okay. See, this, this, the, I'm, I'm really starting to understand where they're coming from now. Because uh, half the time they don't make any sense, but when you put these on, uh, yes, they, they make sense. It, it makes, I can, I can see where they're coming from now. Literally see where they're coming from now. Right, okay. That, that's what they see, so, that's why you get certain headlines that you get, you know. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I've got a few more photos here. Uh, oh, this is um, this is when Donald Trump met Angela Merkel, or is it Angela Merkel? Angela. Um, Churchill once said that every man has the right to pronounce foreign names as he sees fit, and I agree with that. So it's Angela Merkel, um, and there, there he is. Uh, just this is this is a typical meeting of world leaders. He's shaking her hand and he's looking her in the eye, as you can clearly see. And this is not the only time, there's a few other photos where he's shaking her hand, but let's, let's see this one. Now, I, we see this, we look at this, right? We see, right, that one world leader is meeting another world leader. They've got the flags there, uh, they're shaking hands, they're making eye contact, they then have a talk, you know, the usual, the usual stuff that they do, you know, politicians, but, um, so we see, that's, that's what we see when we look at it, that's, a normal person sees that, right, but, <laughs> what do they see, you know, what do, they, what do they see, oh, let's put the magic glasses on and see what an anti-Trumper sees when he sees this photo, this perfectly normal photo with nothing wrong in it whatsoever, let's see what they see, shall we, here we go, ah, oh. Okay, okay. I mean that's um that is very, very different from what the photo shows, but again it makes you understand some of the headlines that we were getting, you know. Because uh, I, I seen a few headlines saying he, he didn't shake her hand and you know, he didn't make eye contact and uh, this was all over Twitter and uh, people were going crazy, he didn't even make eye contact, he didn't even shake a hand. That's because they were anti Trumpers and they were <laughs> oh man, they take these off. Uh, uh, let's see. I think I've got. I think I've got one more photo here. Um, yes, here we go. Oh, this is a good one here. This is um, this is when Donald Trump had in the Oval Office all the uh, not all of them, but uh, a lot of professors from historically black only colleges and universities. Uh, a few. Uh, black community leaders and stuff like that uh, in the Oval Office, as you can see there. Uh, we, we can see Kellyanne Conway, she's sitting on the couch just down here. Uh, the reason she's sitting there is, you know, just use your brain. She's, she's trying to get the best um, view of everybody so she can get them all in the photo, you know. Uh, so that's, so she sat there. There's actually a photo of her taking the photo before that, before she's then checking the photo on the phone. Um, but we look at that, we see all the black leaders from un black universities and black colleges, um, even though apparently Trump's racist, apparently. Um, uh, so he's got them all there, smiling, nice photo op, they're all there, brilliant. Mm. But what does an anti-Trumper see when they see this? <laughs> oh, well, there's only one way to find out. Here we go. <laughs> I see, I see, right, okay, I see. <laughs> you, you see, when it goes from that to that, you can see why the headlines are the way they are, right? I mean, <sighs> I'm going to have to take these off. You see, you can't, that's another thing, that they come with a warning. These come with a warning where you can't leave them on too long. Like, it says be careful not to fall asleep with them on and stuff. Don't leave them on too long because uh, you may end up with what's known as Trump derangement syndrome. That's where, uh, you, you, you see this all the time, you know, uh, you, you'll know you've been wearing them too long when you feel the need to mention Trump when he's not the topic of discussion. You know, for example, you, you'll go on Twitter, right, and there might be a story about uh, China's just broken the world record for the world's biggest cake, right? And you'll scroll through the comments and people will be saying, oh, I bet you Trump couldn't do that, oh, this is because of Trump. That's because they've been wearing these for too long. They have Trump derangement syndrome that, you know, a bit loopy. Um, so don't wear them too long. They only cost a potato. You know, it's, that's all they are. That's fine. Uh, so they're well worth it. I, I give them uh, 10 out of 10. That's my review score. 10 out of 10 for these. 
hipster anti-Trump glasses. Um, highly recommend you get them. Uh, even though if you leave them on too long you'll get Trump derangement syndrome, I'm still going to give them 10 out of 10. I'll make sure I don't wear them too long. Uh, I certainly don't want to end up with like some of those lunatics I've seen. Um, but I do feel that I will be getting a lot of use out of these in the next four, possibly next eight years. Who am I kidding? The next 30 years I'll be getting a lot of use out of these. Because even though when Trump's not the president anymore, we know they're still going to be talking about him. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the review, and I highly recommend you go and get them as quick as you can. Um, thank you very much for listening. Until next time. To an anti-Trumper. <laughs> it's fascinating, right? Because I always wanted to know... Oh, school bell. I always wanted to know, how do, they, how do they see things different from the way I can see them and other people can see them, you know? Uh, so I, I'll try them out. What I'll do is I'll get a few random pictures and... I'll just have a look and we'll see what it looks like, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm quite excited to try these out. So, let's have a look at the first picture, right, so here we go here, uh, what's this? Oh, that's, um, that's Trump's inauguration. Um, it was all the crowd there during his inauguration. As you can see, there's lots of people there, and personally to me, in my opinion, even if there's only one person there, it doesn't matter. He's still the president, whether there's one whether there's 10 billion, it doesn't matter. He's still the president. The numbers don't matter, really. Uh, I remember the media made a big deal about this. They said to Sean Spicer, hey, what's with the numbers at the inauguration? And Sean Spicer answered the question. And then they tried to say, look at Sean Spicer making a big deal about the numbers when it was them that asked the question. But but anyway, so uh, let's let's have a quick look to see, just to see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like to the, a normal person, you know. But if you're an anti-Trumper, here we go. This is what. Oh, that is. That is quite. It's given WikiLeaks the information about the DNC. Um, and he was um, <coughs> robbed uh, by being shot in the back and none of his valuables taken. Apparently, that's called a robbery now. <laughs> not a murder. No, 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 not a murder. No, just, just a, just a robbery. Robbery that went wrong. Apparently. D very wrong because they didn't steal anything, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, but I, c I can't see how I can't see how the, an anti-Trumper would see this. And what, what do they see when they look at this? Well, let's check it out, shall we? Here we go. Whoa, that's again. That's really bizarre, isn't it? it goes from Seth and Julian to. To Russia? Hmm, that's, that's strange. I don't know how that works. But that's... It makes you understand. Doesn't it? Doesn't it make you understand a wee bit more when you've got the glasses? Ah, oh, man. Amazing. Let's, let's try another photo, shall we? Let's see, see if we can go through some more. And um, what else have we got? Oh, this is, a, this is a photo of President Trump signing an executive order to temp put a temporary ban on seven countries, it only shows six there, but there was another one, I can't remember what the other one is. Um, here we go, let's, let's have a look. Whew. Whoa. All women are crude, rude, obnoxious and dumb. Other than that, I like them very much. That's a lot different from the one that said Rosie was... That's bizarre, isn't it? These are, these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I highly recommend getting a pair of these. These are brilliant, because it lets you understand them. Because if you don't, if you don't look at them through like this and see that it says that, and then you take them off, you see that it's different. If you don't look at it through their eyes, you know you can be forgiven for thinking they were a bunch of retards. I mean, you would, you, you can be forgiven for thinking that, but this makes you understand that you know it's because of how they see the world. Ugh. So it's really not their fault, it's just the way they are, you know, it's the hipster glasses they wear. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's have a, a look at another photo, shall we, what's this? Oh, this is a photo of um, Seth Rich and Julian Assange. Um, Julian Assange, he's the the guy who runs Wiki, WikiLeaks, I was going to say Wikipedia there, he runs WikiLeaks. And Seth Rich, he's apparently, and I say apparently because there's not enough evidence yet, 
but he's apparently the DNC leak. He's the guy who was... Hello, uh, I'm, I'm all excited today. I've got a review video today. Now, I don't usually, I don't usually do review videos, um, but a friend of mine called Pokemon Fetishist said on Twitter said um, you need to get a pair of those hipster glasses. I said I've, I've already got a pair of the feminist ones. These are glasses I've got. I made a video about it. I'll leave a link in the description. You put these glasses on and it lets you see what the world looks like through a feminist size. They're, they're amazing, right? And he said, no, there's a new pair out there, anti-Trump hipster glasses. And it lets you see what the world looks like through an anti-Trumper's eyes. And I said, I don't, I don't have the money for these glasses. I can't afford to buy glasses right now. And he said, no, no, not to worry. Not to worry. Most anti-Trumpers are anti-capitalist. So you, you don't need money for them. You can you get them for free or uh, nearly free. So I looked them up on Amazon and sure enough, it was just, all I had to do was exchange them for a potato, <laughs> which I stole from my neighbor. So it's, it's all good. So I got them for free. Um, pretty much free. So here they are here, right? And now what happens with these is when I put these on, it lets me see what the world looks like. Quite a difference, I would say. Uh, now it's completely empty, bare. There's nobody there. And yet when you take them off and you can see that there's thousands of people there. Just odd. Isn't that odd how that works? It's quite amazing, really. Um, I'm these are quite good. Well worth a potato, I'd say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what. Let's see any other pictures. See what. Just to see what it does, you know. Oh, here's one of Donald Trump's tweets. Um, Rosie is crude, rude, obnoxious, and dumb. Other than that, I like her very much. Uh, this is this is from 2014. This is typical Donald Trump, way before he was president. Uh, he's always been like this. And him and Rosie O'Donnell have had an ongoing feud. Uh, I personally believe they kind of like each other, but, you know, they just have a go at each other um, publicly. Because they don't block each other on Twitter, you know? Um, so that that's him pretty much, as usual, he's having another dig at Rosie O'Donnell. Saying she's crude, rude, obnoxious, that's fine. And Rosie O'Donnell does the same thing back. It's, it's all good. It's all fun. It's all in good fun. Uh, nobody's been hurt here, so it's, it's all good. But but that's that's me looking at it. You know, but if I was an anti-Trumper, 